Let's see if we can take this quadratic expression here, x squared plus 16x plus 9, and write it in this form. And you might be saying, hey, Sal, why, why do I even need to worry about this? And one, it is just good algebraic practice to be able to manipulate things. But as we'll see in the future, what we're about to do is called completing the square. And it's a really valuable technique for solving quadratics. And it's actually the basis for the proof of the quadratic formula, which you will, use, which you will learn in the future. So it's actually a pretty interesting technique. So how do we write this in this form? Well, one way to think about it is if we expanded this x plus a squared, we know if we square x plus a, it would be x squared plus 2a x plus a squared. And then you still have that plus b right over there. So one way to think about it is, let's take this expression, this x squared plus 16x plus 9. And I'm just going to write it with a little few spaces in it. x squared plus 16x and then plus 9, just like that. And so if we say, all right, we have an x squared here. We have an x squared here. If we say that 2ax is the same thing as that, then what's a going to be? So if this is 2a times x, well, that means 2a is 16, or that a is equal to 8. And so if I want to have an a squared over here, well, if a is 8, I would add a I would add an 8 squared, which would be a 64. Well, I can't just add numbers willy-nilly to an expression without changing the value of an expression. So if I don't want to change the value of the expression, I still need to subtract 64. So notice, all that I have done now is I just took our original expression, and I added 64, and I subtracted 64. So I have not changed the value of that expression. But what was valuable about me doing that is now this first part of the expression, this part right over here, it fits the pattern of, what, of a perfect square quadratic right over here. We have x squared plus 2ax, where a is 8, plus a squared, 64. Once again, how did I get 64? I took half of the 16 and I squared it to get to the 64. And so this stuff in this that I just squared off, this is going to be x plus 8 squared, x plus 8 squared. Once again, I know that because a is 8, a is 8. So this is x plus 8 squared. And then all of this business on the right-hand side, what is 9 minus 64? Well, 64 minus 9 is 55. So this is going to be negative 55, so minus 55. And we're done. We've written this expression in this form, and what's also called completing the square.